Today I'm going to show you how to import a graphic into Embroidery Wear. On my screen, you will see uh, and the Embroidery Wear icon. You click on the icon and open it, and then you click OK. Now, for um, any new person going in, you will see just a blank screen, which tends to throw some people off thinking that they've done something wrong. But every time you go in, you will see a blank grayish blue screen. You go up to File and New. Now you'll come up to a screen that has um, a blank area once again because you, right now you have nothing on your screen to actually digitize. So this video is going to sh I'm going to show you how to import a graphic. And on the toolbar you will notice all of these different buttons at the top and you'll see insert image. So I'm going to click on insert image and then it takes me to my desktop and on my desktop I've saved um, a flower. Now there are different ways that you can um, bring in images. One is a BMP file, a JPEG file, or a PNG. I believe I saved my flower as a PNG. Yes, I did. So I'm going to click on it and open. Now you'll notice that you still have a blank screen. Once again, you're going to think, oh, I did something wrong, but you haven't. You have the option to place it wherever you want. So I'm going to click on my screen and there's my flower. The reason my flower did not go up here is because it is extremely large. So now I have to uh, move my flower and scale it. So I'm going to click on this move icon at the top. Click. Click on my, oops, I missed one step. I go over here to select. I have to select this first to make it active. And whoops, when you click it, you'll see that this becomes active and then you're going to get this bar highlighted. All of the points around this flower are highlighted. You just can't see it because it's so large. So now I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to click and pull it down and click on my flower. Now the interesting thing about embroidery wear is that you do not click, hold, and drag. You click, let off the click, and then drag. So I clicked, let off the click, and now I'm just dragging over. Okay, so I need to, there, my flower moved over. Whoops. Every time I move my mouse, it's moving it. So I got to make sure I deselect it. I think I moved it too far. There we go. So to deselect it, I right click on my mouse and unselect. So now it doesn't move anymore. However, I want to resize it because right now it's way too big. So I'm going to go up here and select again on my uh, graphic object. Click. And now I can at least see two points and that's what I need to scale my flower down. So I go over here to Curve, and at the bottom you will see Scale Using Two Points. Now this took me a while to understand because I am used to clicking and dragging, and that's not in this program. You click on um, Scale Using Two Points, then you go over to your object, you click one button, let go of the mouse, Click your second button, let go of the mouse, and then your fingers off the click button and you drag it down. See how I resize that? I don't really want it that small though. So I'm going to pull it back out a little, just step by step. Now, I like the size of that, so I'm going to click, right click of my mouse, and unselect. But I want to center it. So I go back up. Notice that this, I still need to keep this active over here. Since I unselected, I have to reselect again. See all four corners of my object? I want to move this. So I go back up here to the Move button. 
I click on it, let go of the click, come over to my object, click on my object and let go. And whoops, there I go. I centered it, I right click on my mouse, unselect because I don't want it to move anymore. And there you have it. You have an object that you can now trace. I hope you found this helpful.